Okay, so another way we can nest conditions is through the use of logical operators. Now, without getting into a ton of uh, big explanations about what they are and what they do, let's just go ahead and demonstrate because that's really the best way to learn how to deal with them. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to just call it logical. And I'll drag that into my editor. And I'm just going to start setting up some variables. The first one I'm going to set up is A, and it's going to be a Boolean, so I'm going to set it to true. And I'm going to set up a B, and that's going to be equal to false. And those are two Boolean variables. So now that I now I can compare them using some uh, logical operators. Now we'll start with the first one, and I'll just set up a pr simple print statement, and I'll say A and B. And is the logical operator, meaning it returns true if uh, the left and right are both true. That's the only way we can get a true from this. So since one is true and one is false, I'm going to get a false print here. If I change this one to true, I'm going to get a true print. But again, that's the only way I'm going to get one. So if I uh, change this one to false, then the same thing happens. So that's what the AND operator does. So if you have a Boolean expression and you have AND here, you should have a Boolean expression here and a Boolean expression here, and they will both have to evaluate to true in order for the entire expression to be true. Let's uh, comment this out for a minute, and we're going to move on to the OR operator. And it's just about as simple as the other one. So we're going to print A or B. And so the OR operator, if either one of these is true, then the condition is going to return true. And you can see I return true as long as one of them or both of them in this case. I can put both of them and they will both return true. So that satisfies this condition. The only way I can get that to generate false is to set uh, both variables to false. And then I can get a false return. So let's comment that out for a minute. And we'll do one more. And this one we've used before. not and we'll just try a and b so we're using the not operator here and again what the not operator does is anything to the right of it it's going to do the exact opposite now the tricky part here is that this has uh, multiple items in it so we have to surround it in parentheses in order to get the not operator to operate on the entire thing so if I hit this, you can see I'm going to get a false return because they're both false. But if I have that not, operate, not operator there, I'm going to get a true every time because false turns into true. Not operator basically just means opposite of whatever's to my right. Even if I put the or in here, since that or is going to return false, it also returns true. But the minute I set one of these things to true, I get a false return because this would actually be true because one of them is true and then not would be the opposite of that which is false. So that explains what your logical operators do in the most basic of terms. But now we want to come up with a practical application for why we would use them and how. So let's go ahead and do a simple program and let's say I wanted to pick a number between 1 and 10. So let's go ahead, instead of number, let's call this one guess. And I, you'll find out quickly, or in a minute, why I'm calling it guess instead of number. But let's just run with it for now. Uh, let's say guess, and it's going to be an integer. So I'm going to say int input. And in here I'm going to say pick a number between 1 and 10. 
And so I'm prompting for some user input, and then I'm going to say if uh, guess is greater than or equal to 1. First of all, I could go if guess is greater than or equal to 1, and then have another if here. I could say if guess is less than or equal to 10. But if I didn't, if I want to be smart about this, I can just use the AND operator. Guess is less than or equal to 10. And so as long as I meet both those conditions, I get some positive feedback. It says the number is right. And then else, let's print wrong so if I print this out and guess it so I got an invalid syntax error and that is because I forgot a colon so let's try that one more time pick a number between 1 and 10 I can pick anything and in, in that range and it will be right 5 And let's go with 7, still right. And even if I pick 10, my number is still right. However, if I go 11, I'm wrong. If I go 20, I'm wrong. If I go 40, I'm wrong. And we could do this with another operator as well. Uh, but to demonstrate it, I'd have to bump this up to a 5. And I would have to be do an or operator here so I can do an or and let's say between 5 and 10 but that didn't make any sense because we're using the or let's just go ahead and use the or right now so if I have greater than or equal to 5 so the numbers right as long as I pick something that's within those lines but if I pick a 20 here, the number is still right, even though I'm out of the range of the 10, because only one of these needs to be true with the OR operator. But if I go over here and I put in a 4, uh, I also get that because 4 is less than or equal to 10. So let's try something that doesn't that violates this instead of this let's go double equal five well, let's go with 20 and it's wrong also I could go five and it's right again but for my purposes I want to put this uh, back the way it was and use the and operator and you'll find out why we're doing that later and that is your basic uh, crash course in using your conditional logic with the logical operators. Again, let me know if you have questions.